Peace, love, and light, divine tribe, welcome back. God has a message for you, and this is for someone specific. God is saying that you are in transition to your promise. And God has been showing you this. God has been confirming this. It's been confirmed, but you haven't gotten any indication that you're still moving. You're not getting any indication that you're heading in the right direction. This is a confirmation. God wants me to tell you that your space has changed. You're no longer where you used to be, but you're not quite yet to your promise. You're in between. And God wants you to know that this is the time that your faith shall be activated. God wants you to remember that even though things may look funny, people may be looking at you crazy, everything around you seems unfamiliar. Am I speaking to anyone? You, God wants you to know you're in the perfect place. You are on the right path, beloved. God wants you to know that it is not by mistake. You didn't get lost. The GPS is still going. You're on the right path. I know right now someone may be feeling a little bit uneasy. Hello? Is it just me? <laughs> but your faith is still solid. Beloved, you've been here before. Same story, different, different level. But God is about to bring you into your promise. You know God's word cannot go back void. You are going to get honored for every single day you stood up and did the right thing. Every single day that you trusted God and followed instructions. Every single day that you did what you're supposed to do, even though everything around you is suggesting that you should do something else. Oh, it doesn't look like it's working out for you, sweetheart. You need to go back and do something else because this is not working out. Uh, this is not working out for you, man. It looks like you've been walking straight, but this, this don't look like it's, uh, for you. You sure you heard right? You sure this is what you're supposed to be doing? Cause you, I don't know. It looked like you losing a lot. Beloved, don't let your surroundings dictate what God said he has created specifically for you. It might seem, and it might be funny to some that's looking but when it's done, God wants you to know that you will have the last laugh. But what God wants you to know is that you are in the right place. God wants you to know, do not compromise. Do not, what, what are you saying, Daddy? He said, don't blow up the shop. Don't blow up everything that you've been working for. Don't give up now, beloved. Do not give up now. I know that you're trying to grasp onto something that's familiar, but you're in unfamiliar territory. Why? Because you need the courage and you need the faith to be added to you. You need to know without a shadow of a doubt that God has your back so that when you go into this new territory where nothing as well is going to feel familiar and you're going to be so highly favored and blessed that it's not going to make sense to your to your senses. God wants you to know you're accumulating the faith, the substance, the character it takes for you to embody the person you need to become in this new space. Whew. Who am I speaking to? If I am speaking to you, I want you to put confirmation in the comments. This is your divine path. God sees what you can't see. So let me give you a little scripture to put in your backpack as you're traveling in this unknown territory. As you'll be able to use it. Love is patient and love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in the wrong things but it rejoices in the right things love bears all things believes all things and hopes all things and love also endures 
So these are the things that's going to help you, beloved, to push through. You're already in your new season. Your eyes have not acclimated it yet. Your mind is still in transition, but it's already yours, beloved. It's already yours. So please protect it, but just don't compromise it just because you don't see what's going on. Your vision is not cleared for the new position just yet. Let me arm you with some more scripture. Put this in your book bag. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Put Timmy in your book bag. In this unfamiliar place, you have people talking in your ear, one in the left, one in the right. Beloved, they may even love you, but even Yeshua had to say, get behind me to his mother. You know, it's not going to be easy. God didn't choose you because you took the easy routes. God chose you because God knew that God could use you to create a new path. And so God wanted you to be the trailblazer to show that it doesn't matter what it looks like. This is a new world right now. And God is doing new things. And this is a new path, not like you've ever seen before. You're just going to another level. Let me give you another something to put into your your book bag. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength and soar on wings like eagles and they will run and not grow weary and they will walk and not be faint. Beloved, I know you might be faint, but you're not going to fall. I know you might be tired, but God has a new wind of strength for you and God will use that to make you soar into your promise. Go ahead and put Isaiah in your book bag. You're going to need him too. Don't compromise it. I love you. I hope this helped. Until the next time, stay divine. Mix it up, girl, put it in motion.